the arms race continues. Yeah, we're going to talk about some more within stuff, but this bronze farming back and forth between Blizzard nerfing and people discovering other ways to farm bronze is completely insane. It has become the main storyline of Mists of Pandaria Remix. This one, you might not want to do. I'm just warning you. But as mentioned earlier, players were farming the gates of the setting sun on heroic mode. They were killing all the trash before the first boss, which would give them 15 threads. While there was a number of groups that were ex exploiting the instance cap with this, uh, there were some groups that were just doing 10 per runs per hour. So if you were doing the exploit in a way, I'm not sure how yet, but there was a way that people were basically exploiting this beyond the 10 runs that you're allowed per hour. So right now there is a 10 run dungeon cap, or instance cap, on, uh, on Missa Pandaria Remix. And there was a way, I guess, to do this dungeon more than 10 times within an hour. Now this exploit is a bit different than the frog one and the goat one and everything else we've talked about in that you're actually breaking the rules here. This is an actual breakage of the rules. The other ones were just you were playing within the rules but just doing it in an extreme way. This is breaking the rules. I wouldn't do this if I were you guys. Uh, stay away from this because people who were doing this are probably going to receive some uh, retribution, I should say, from, uh, from Blizzard themselves. More Bob farming has also been nerfed, the Mogushan vaults and the Hearts of Fear. If you were doing these to get yourself a bunch of gems um, and bronze well and threads, well, that's been nerfed as well. While the mobs before the first boss in these raids were really easy to kill, you could go into these uh, the Mogushan vaults and the Fear um, and the uh, Heart of Fear and basically kill the first boss over and over and over, giving yourself 25 threads. Well, now it's been nerfed, so they each drop three. Blizzard's made it pretty clear with these nerfs and everything else that they just don't want people farming this shit out too quickly. Now, personally, I don't really understand why Blizzard's being so strict on this stuff. This whole event really is, uh, uh, it's just a leveling experience, right? It's just going back, redoing stuff. Maybe they want the event to last longer, carry out some content during this content, kind of somewhat of a drought that we're having right now. Uh, but they are really, ta uh, you know, tackling anybody that finds out an exploit that they can basically farm uh, bronze or threads or anything else. So this one's been nerfed. You're not gonna be able to do this anymore. It's not really worth it. Going from 25 to three is a pretty big change. Um, another hotfix that's been implemented can identify people who did do the frog uh, exploit. So this is kind of weird. I don't think this is gonna lead to any bans. As I said before, people who were technically doing this weren't doing anything wrong. They were playing within the rules. They were just, you know, they found a way to basically make bronze really quickly. Well, this new criteria tree that Blizzard put in basically is not something they would typically use to identify people to ban, but it is something that they would do to basically make the game aware of people who did certain things. It's almost like an achievement, um, uh, a hidden achievement, right? So people who basically farmed a certain amount of bronze would be flagged in the game as being, having done so. Now, whether or not they're going to give these people... Um, lower drop rates maybe they're trying to identify them so they can cause bronze to drop at a lesser rate for them than people who didn't to basically give a catch-up mechanic to people who didn't do the frog thing we're not sure yet but this is something that blizzard patched in in the morning and we have no idea uh, uh, what the reason could be as i was saying maybe it could be you know to make people have those bronze drop less for them in other events it could be a rollback where they're looking to find these people so they can take away the bronze that they got um, again, there's, it might be an achievement attached or something. They may be using it to track frog kills as internal stats. Uh, who knows why they would want to do that. Maybe they just want to tweet out some funny tweet or something. Uh, no fun allowed. Yeah, but, um, it could also be absolutely nothing at all. So there's also that. But this was put into the game, so be aware. If you did do the frog thing, uh, you are kind of now flagged in the game as having done it. Uh, moving on to some more important things. War Within stuff coming. Uh, there's been some new colorways discovered for some of the new Arathi sets and the Earthen sets. So let's check some of these out. We've got a new um, airship set, they're calling it. This is part of the cloth set, I believe, and a uh, purple colorway of this as well. So these look pretty good. As I was saying before, I mean, look at this. This is the outdoor Arathi set. This thing looks better than a freaking tier set. Look at the cape now as well. This is new. I haven't seen the cape yet, but my god. These new Arathi sets are going to go down in uh, WoW history as some of the best looking sets ever put in the game. I mean, people, I'm going to be dying for this stuff. As a Death Knight, I could, uh, you know, I the Paladin aesthetic has never really been mine. But man, look at this. This looks like Judgment. 
This looks like the Judgment Helm. Clearly taken inspiration from that. It's absolutely beautiful. I gotta have it uh, in every colorway possible. This is the plate set, obviously. I love the amount of detail. I mean, this, if this is a sign of things to come for other sets we're gonna be getting in the War Within and the World Soul Saga as a whole, I mean, damn. We're gonna be looking real good real soon. Um, the last piece here is the Earthen. This Earthen Adventurer set is a recolor of the Honorary Council Member set. So uh, we saw this on a dwarf earlier. It looks like people are going to be able to go ahead and get these sets as well. Another like, little blue colorway here. Uh, very squared off. You know, fits the earthen aesthetic pretty well. Beautiful looking sets. My god, man, this Arathi set is just so damn, so good looking. Uh, last but not least, Blizzard is adding a story mode into the game. Yeah, so what is this? This is a way for people to experience the end game stories from raids without actually having to uh, group up, socialize, and interact with actual human beings beyond five people. So this makes the, basically the last boss, which will be Queen Enserac for the final raid right now as it stands. You'll be able to do it with one to five players, go through it, kill the boss. You're not going to really do any mechanics. It seems like it's going to create more of a tank and spank version of this fight. But uh, you will just basically kill the boss and get the cutscenes and everything that comes along with it. It doesn't seem like there'll be any loot involved. This will strictly be to just experience the story. Um, might be a way for Blizzard to kind of implement more quests that have to do with killing the final boss in a raid to complete the quest. Uh, this will give you a way to do it without ever having to join a raid or really understand mechanics or anything like that. Or get geared, for that matter. So you can go in, experience the final boss story. And, uh, and and that's about it. And so they're planning on releasing this during every single raid tier. When the final wing of LFR opens, this will be your way to get in. And I'll be completely honest. I always said that LFR right now is the story mode. I've been saying that for quite a while. Like The one good thing for LF about LFR is that it helps you experience the story of World of Warcraft. Now that there's a story mode, I don't know what the point of LFR is. Maybe to experience the stories of the other bosses, if there are any. Who knows, but... Uh, this seems perfectly pointless at this at this time. Uh, there, this is not something, by the way, that you'll be able to use um, your follower uh, dungeon runners with, or whatever the hell they're called. If you remember, there's the you know the AI dungeons, the follower dungeons. Uh, this will not be something that uses them. You'll have to use you know it'll be one to five real players to actually compete complete this. So uh, now that LFR seems completely pointless, I don't understand. But uh, story mode, yeah, coming to World of Warcraft for all of you people who don't like raiding but love the story.